Joining us now on HCAM News is current school committee member Jean Birchman, who is seeking a third term as a member of the school committee. Jean, welcome to HCAM News. Thank you very much for having me. It's very nice to be here. Uh, now to start off, can you give us some background information about yourself and talk about the many things you do in the community? Um, yes, I, we moved here about 20, almost 24 years ago um, when I was pregnant with our oldest daughter and we've um, really loved living here. My husband and I both have been really active in the community. He's coached every sport that there is for all four of our daughters and um, I've been involved in primarily the schools the whole time that we've been here but I also currently am chair of the 300th anniversary celebration committee for the town which has been a lot of fun and I also teach at the senior center. I teach quilting. Um, I think I'm a, the only founding member of the Marathon Quilt Guild who's who's still left. I'm on the board of Keep Smiling for Abby. I do some work with the boosters and the PTA. Um, so a lot of the support groups for the schools. All right, now throughout the last few years, the school system in Hopkinton has uh, been ranked in top in the state by many ranking mm -hmm. systems, uh, the latest being niche.com. Uh, what are you most proud of about your first two years with the school committee? Well, I mean, there are a lot of things to be proud of, and I want to be clear that not any one person is responsible for for any one achievement because it's a group effort between the school committee and the staff and the administration um, and we've had two really strong strategic plans I really like our F1 visa plan where we uh, option now that we we bring foreign students into the high school um, you know we have a, f a new full day K program we have a one-to-one -one laptop so there are a lot of things that we have that are sort of put us at the cutting edge but I was thinking about this question and I, I have to say my sentimental favorite thing that has been accomplished while I've been on the school committee is getting the statue of Rick and Dick Hoyt in front of the center school. I happened to be chair the year that we had the opportunity to work with other groups in town to make that happen and I just personally find that their story is tremendously inspiring. I think it's such a great uh, message and symbol to the kids um, in that building in particular and you know it just brings together so many different aspects of the town with the marathon and how lucky we are that the whole world comes to Hawkington every year so I, I think that's the first thing that comes to my mind and that's probably the thing that's touched my heart the most. Now uh, what are your goals for the Hopkinton school system if re-elected for a third term? Well we have a lot uh, we still we have a lot of big things that we that we need to continue to work on um, improving communications with the community has been something that we have been steadily improving over the time that I've been on the school committee. Um, we are about to have uh, enter into a new building project hopefully with the town and so obviously that's one of our highest priority um, initiatives. We have a new strategic plan uh, so we'll be working on executing the initiatives in the strategic plan, um, bringing our schools up from level two designation to level one designation and really just you know working hard to keep our schools strong and and at the top rank that that they currently enjoy I think when I moved here 20 years ago that was not um, the case and I, I think it's really remarkable that in such a short period of time this town has worked so hard to turn the education around and um, and now we're an educational leader in the state and in the country and I think that's due to efforts of a lot of people absolutely now can you tell us uh, what you enjoy most about being part of the school committee? Uh, there are a lot of things that I enjoy. I, I am really impressed by and inspired by our teaching staff and by our administrative team. I've learned a lot from them. Um, I think they have a really hard job and I think that they do an outstanding job with our kids. Um, I've enjoyed getting to know a lot of different people in the community and a lot of different town boards um, and so that work is is very fun but I think my favorite part at school committee meetings is when we have recognitions and we have students come um, we have great kids and we have a lot to be proud of and so sometimes they come and you know the Hopkins kids stump us on their word games or the high school science award winners blow our minds with whatever they've just invented and we have the robotics team and so they just um, uh, we have amazing choral performances band performances we just have a lot of kids that are great actors we have a tremendous amount of um, of success to celebrate in this district and not just academic not just athletic and so that's my favorite part I think seeing the kids come Terrific. Yeah. Well, Jean, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. And we wish you the best of luck at the ballot box oh. on May 18th. Thank you. Thanks very much, Tom. A lot more ahead on HCAM News. Stay tuned.